parent, Charles Mukherjee, has special educational needs, and he and his family were recently detained in Yarns Wood. In detention, his medication was taken away, he had a number of seizures and stopped eating. A doctor saw him there and said he was traumatised. Will the Home Secretary urgently look at this family's experience and see what changes need to be made to ensure that we treat all people who are detained in a humane and dignified way, especially those with learning disabilities and mental ill health? Well, I thank the Honourable Lady for raising that with me. Yes, I will, and I would ask her to uh, send me the information. I will take a look at it personally. Hello. Yes, Luciana Berger needs to raise the plight of the residents of Smithdown Road in Parliament. That's right, like she did Charles Mukherjee and the Mukherjee family here in Kensington, Liverpool, May just gone, right in the middle of my election campaign. The Mukherjee family were a family from India, I believe, that had sought asylum in Kensington, Liverpool, and for some unknown reason was spirited away to Yarlswood Detention Centre. And it was rather a mystery as to why this had happened, because they hadn't broken any rules set down by the Home Office regarding asylum, see uh, asylum seekers, and it was all very odd. And then, after Luciana Berger raised uh, questions in Parliament and Amber Rudd saying she'll do all she can, they were then even more mysteriously returned back to Kensington to a hero's welcome as well. Various mental health groups, men cap and charity groups were all praising this as a success and welcoming them back. It was all over the local news and big pat on the back for Luciana Berger. And I thought it was rather odd this, very odd, but I'll get to that in a minute. But you'll notice in Parliament, Luciana Berger talks about Charles Mukherjee's medication being withdrawn. Now, why would people in authority do that? For what reason? Was anyone disciplined or sacked? Did Luciana Berger take it further? It all didn't make sense. And then I started to think, and well, I'm running on a ticket of no more asylum seekers in Kensington. Uh, during my election campaign, could this stunt have all been organised to give the asylum seeker community in Kensington sympathy and dampen what the wicked racist Joe Owens is saying, no more asylum seekers in Kensington? It didn't make sense, none of it did, but all the same, let's just say it's my bad mind. And Luciana was raising the issue of the Mukherjee family and their son Charles Mukherjee and his mental health problems uh, as to why they'd been spirited away from Kensington to Yarlswood Detention Centre and she was speaking up for one of her constituents. Okay, great. Well, how about the constituents that uh, in and, our, in and our, around Smith Down Road, Luciana Berger, right, that are also constituents of your ward? How about them? Have you raised their plight in Parliament? Have you asked questions as to how not one or two or three Roman Gypsy families have been dumped along Smith Down Road, but a whole tribe of them that can't be integrated so quick? It's impossible. And it's the local community, the local residents that are suffering. Are you going to raise this in Parliament? as to how this nightmare has been dumped on their doorstep. Because you know if you don't, I'll be bringing it to the attention of the residents of Smithdown Road. Okay, thank you.